Eating <laughs> on his favorite meals. At first, I thought they might have been barking at Tingana, but we're a little bit far away. And I've just realized these two rams are actually challenging each other, so I'm just going to be quiet to let you hear the sounds they're making. What's up, boy? That's the typical impala alarm call, but they're not alarm calling. If they were, they'd be staring off in one direction. And I think they've got caught in a vicious cycle here. The <laughs> one's alarm calling and the other one instinctively follows suit, but neither of them know exactly what it is they're shouting at. But they're looking around, at the same time they kind of want to size up each other, because they don't really want to turn their back on a potential opponent. And the hormones are just starting to drop now. Let's go forward a little bit because this is very interesting. I don't, want to, I don't want to go too close because otherwise we'll disrupt them from what they're doing. And they're being quite fascinating at the moment. Is that? There's no leopard there. Or lion. They've just got confused. And we're coming to the end of the impala breeding season. But there's still residual hormones floating about. Some of the females still in the second estrus that they go through. And as a result, they don't really want to be all on their own. But at the same time, they're aware of the fact that another male is a potential threat. So they're kind of constantly sizing each other up. Fascinating.